Hey, welcome to another video blog. I'm Tony Lasano, alongside Mariana Perrin. Hey, and I know my name. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Do you know mine? <laughs> you have too many of them. I remember the first time you found out my real name, and you like freaked. I did. I did. <laughs> I freaked out. He has a real name. It's not Tony Lasano. No. My my whole persona of Tony Lasano fell. <laughs> it it's did. like you identify a person by their name, and Tony Lasano is not your name. Yeah. And I remember what freaked you said. Out. You freaked and you said, what are you, with the CIA? <laughs> and then you said, the coolest thing about you is fake. <laughs> <laughs> like, the only cool thing about him is his uh, name. Yeah. And it's not even his name. It's something like Tim Lobowinski or something. <laughs> Lobo oh, no, wait. <laughs> That's actually his last name. That was not false. Anyway, go on. So We're supposed to talk about something. We, we, we formed a company. We did. Los Anno Perrin Limited. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people have been wondering uh, what, time, what type of strengths, what type of talents that we have. Why should we have a company together? And I, I wrote down some notes of why, at least for me. You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you, I think you actually have a better background than I have. I have a very... Um, I have a crazy background that nobody would believe I have. Right. Yeah, I actually worked um, freelance in Detroit for various networks for like VH1, MTV, History Channel, um, a lot of local production companies that get random work from these companies, and they met a lot of famous people and saw a lot of productions. And granted, I was a production assistant, but still, it gives me. You were me starting a, out though. I know I was. I was like 19, 20. Yeah. So um, it gave me a very good view of what production should be. Yeah. And uh, as a result, I just I was bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. <laughs> so they would be like, "Go get that tape," and I'd like run them out to get it in like one minute. Okay, I'm not that fast. But <laughs> but I was very outgoing and I learned very fast. So very quickly, all the production companies like. Um, I don't know, took me under the wings, I guess. I don't know. But camera guys were requesting me to be their PAs, and VH1 would call back and be like, hey, that PA that we had, can you send her back? So I started getting paid more, and that was nice. What I also like is the first time you were on a camera. The, the what? When you were first time on a camera. Yeah, that was like last week. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, running camera or yeah, being on camera? When they, they put you on a camera at one time and you're like, I, I've never... Oh yeah, but that was for school though. But still. Yeah, I uh, because I had worked for VH1 and MTV, everybody thought that I was just like this huge production mogul. And uh, I had never really touched a video camera because I was just a production assistant. And uh, so I went to college and I started becoming very involved in our campus TV station at Oakland University in Michigan. And um, my boss, had, I got hired and they were just like, hey, go run camera for this big event that the president's at. The president of the university, not like George Bush or Clinton at that point. Um, the president of the university, which when you go to university and you know the president, it's kind of a big deal. But anyway, talking about nothing here. Um, so yeah, I ran camera and they were like, wow, you're really good. I'm like, that's the first time I've ever run camera. I really just kind of guessed at the whole pan tilt thing. I just kind of figured it out. So. Well, when I remember interviewing you for the position of director on the show, there was a few things that blew me away. And uh, in college, you used to direct the show with uh, uh, your friend who used to be one of our associate producers, Kara. Mm -hmm. um, um, and she was the host and it was a, like a Regis and Kelly type format. Yeah. Um, with Saturday Night Live skits. It was a lot of Right, fun. right, right. And, and in a lot of ways, it was almost what we were doing. Yes. So it was a nice fit. And you're you're right, the energy you had and the experience, so uh, it blew me away. Now, my background's not that colorful. No. No, no, mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I... I've met, well, you've met famous people, just oh, like well, I have. I guess now it has been more colorful, but yeah. starting What'd out... What'd you do before? I don't even know. I, well, You're just this goofy little guy. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. What? What? what I like being known as the goofy little goofy guy. Goofy little guy. Well, because I'm like business, right, I'm assertive, right. I'm, and I'm like 24, and I'm like this five foot two little nothing. <laughs> like people think I'm this little girl and I'm mousy, and then I open my mouth and I tell you what to do, yeah, and I tell yeah. you to do it in a minute, and if you don't do it, I'm gonna swear at you. Yeah. So. I, I, hmm. You know, I've always had a passion for what I did, and to show you how far back, uh, just something in this field, I, in grammar school, I was on the school newspaper, I quickly became the managing editor, and then that was at the end of my grammar school years, and then for the next eight years throughout the many schools I went to, I've always was an editor and became a columnist and became a reporter, and that's how I got the love of uh, doing reporting stuff. I got into stage crew in high school, love that, Truman College did a uh, production there, um, but I realized I didn't like the acting part as much, and in fact, I don't really think on camera. I really I like the behind the scenes part. Yeah. Um, and and I was doing just productions and someone really liked them and they insisted that I should put them out there, so I put them out there. Uh, we started off on cable access and eventually we moved to commercial cable with Nude Hippo. Um, it became a big hit. Uh, and that lasted 10 years. 10 years on cable! Um, it wasn't so much the size of it, so much as the length. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that. Um, the, the thing about Hippo though is... My mother watches <laughs> The uh, <laughs> hippo. While I was doing hippo, there was a point that I was directing a health-like show 
a weekly health health show. That's good because you're big into health. Yeah, oh God, yes. Uh, I was uh, producing a comedy showcase program, mm -hmm. a weekly showcase program. I was producing a roundtable discussion show, another weekly show, which eventually became like an. Uh, we had like entertainers. It started off with business people and regular all at the shows, same time. all at the same time. Some of these were live every week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, the health show and nude hippo was about th uh, two hours apart. So, and they were both live and two different wow. studios. And there was a. I remember one day that I couldn't make it to the health show, so I actually directed the health show on the phone, watching it on cable. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty badass. I can say that because it's a blog. I'm not on TV. The, uh, but the Doing Nude Hippo, uh, that's been my bulk of all my work. I mean, I was a sound designer for theater. I've done a bunch of different things off here and there. But Nude Hippo, for 10 years, it has changed. It has evolved. It has become different things. We used to do shows live on the, the uh, television and on the internet. We used to have a, a studio audience. You know the anniversary show. We had a huge audience. and that we was. did. Uh, that was cool. uh, we did the studio taping, of course. We did the, uh, 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 let's see, what else did we do? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, that, we did a lot of, uh, <laughs> Oh, uh, the on location. The on location. We did many times on location. Disney was my favorite. Oh, Disney was awesome. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I came back with so much energy from Disney. I know. I actually work at work. <laughs> and then the show ended. <laughs> Like three episodes later. <laughs> exactly. But but that's been my experience. So I've had the opportunity to work with many people and many different I mean, we worked with PR firms. We were, I worked with, you know, major corporations. I worked, yeah, I got to go back to my notes. I worked with hand, the Hancock. Why don't Hancock, we just do this? The, no, no. <laughs> Let us entertain you restaurants. I worked with uh, uh, every PR firm. So, I mean, the experience just with Hippo alone is overwhelming. But when you put it on a resume, it just goes nude Hippo and it's one line. Right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's it. It's like, oh. So. See, all my experience is mostly university. Like, where I've been in management and yeah. production and editing, it's all either unpaid <laughs> or at a university, which counts as splat. <laughs> so there's a lot of experience here. Yeah. It's just not hireable. Well, I wouldn't say it's not hireable. It hasn't been hireable. <laughs> <laughs> if you look at the content that so we So we're hiring here. each other. Yeah. You're hired. <laughs> That's right. I can't pay you yet. We, we believe in each other, so we decide, screw it. We're not, screw it. We're not waiting for anyone. We're just hiring each other. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's the reason why we uh, formed the company. Hopefully, you'll um, not 15 only, minutes later. <laughs> you'll you'll, you'll um, not only produce Nude Hippo, whatever form Nude Hippo becomes, but yes. other things. I would like to do. I don't know what you would like to do. I know you talked about doing a documentary. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to work on documentaries. I've also I don't an care. homage to my people. <laughs> Um, you want to give a little hint of what it's about or no? No. Okay. Um, I don't want anybody to take the idea. I don't actually true. have that's any true. time that's to do true. it. Uh, or, you know. Funding. Funding or... <laughs> It's a good idea, though. Um, but I don't, care. I don't care if I'm working on a cooking show or if I'm working on a, uh, uh, a variety show. I just like producing, you know, so it doesn't matter. I'm just done with education. Yeah, yeah. I can't teach anymore. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's face it. Who am I going to teach? 24. No, but I have been able to teach a lot. Mm -hmm. And actually, one of my students, um, <laughs> I have students, <laughs> he, uh, he actually said that I taught him more than his actual professors. Yeah, well... Okay, I don't know what you have learned or have been able to take from me, but I have told you repeatedly, I have learned so much from you. You have not only influenced me, you have taught me. I, so I can see that. I can absolutely see that. So I'd have to sit down and think about it. I don't really give props to too many people. I like my mother. I give her mad props. My uh. father is a very intelligent man. That's where I draw the line. <laughs> and it took me my entire life to be able to say that. Oh, oh. I don't give props to too many people. Okay, okay. Very stubborn. I don't know what it is. I want all the props, though, so thank you. <laughs> You're very <Quite> welcome. Obvious. <laughs> all right, so I guess, is that an update? I don't know. <laughs> it's like the most boring vlog ever. <laughs> hey, email us. I let, was bored. Let us know if you... <laughs> Does this entertain you yeah, at all? Yeah. Don't, like, you know, on NBC5.com, number one... Uh, uh, how many hits did it get? Well, I don't know the actual numbers. I just know that I have all the videos that were on NBC5. Uh, the uh, first blog that we did was the most, and the second blog was like third or fourth most. That's because there's like two things on there. No, that's not true. We have 311 nude hippo videos alone. We beat on? even we even beat the nude hippo videos. But there's there's other shows up there. There's other things up on, on NBC5.com. On NBC5.com. Yeah. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Email me. <laughs> Call me. I said it in Spanish. I'll say it in English. Speaking of... Oh, this is getting way too long. <laughs> I'll say it on the next one. Okay, we'll say Tune it. in next week. <laughs> okay. What does Marianne have in her mind? Thanks for watching. Did I say his mind or her mind? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Mind. I'm a she. <laughs> I'm Shalala Sano from Marianne Parrott. Thanks for watching. You want to do Euler Run? Don't miss up. Nude Hippo has been a presentation of Opie Productions. It was fun. The all-new Nude Hippo. Only on NBC5.com.